So one of the things that I've been thinking about doing is, is trying out other BSDs and other operating systems. And the first one on my list is OpenBSD. So we'll have a quick look at that, I believe. Let's get into it. So here we are. This is um, OpenBSD. It's running on VMware Workstation Player. So apologies for the funny resolution. But what we've got here is XFCE. And it's 4.16. Doesn't look too bad, if I'm honest with you. Not exactly responsive, but like I said, it's in a virtual machine. The one thing I haven't got is any, uh, any sound, which is a bit annoying, but there we go. So let's have a look and see what we got, shall we? So we've obviously we've got the settings manager, which will let us have a look at what settings we've got. And that's quite nice. Could install no more KDE on this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with. XFC as it's fairly lightweight. Mm, let's change the resolution, shall we? Well, would you look at that? That's better. Okay, so what what have we got here? Let's have a look, see what's under the accessories. Task manager. That's quite pretty. Quite like that. Yeah, that's that's not bad. So these are things that I've installed, Firefox and Thunderbird. And then we've got other bits. So let's see if it's as easy as that, shall we? Okay. This is very reminiscent of when I used to use FreeBSD back in FreeBSD 4 to about 7, I believe, when they changed to the new package manager, PKG NG, next generation. Seems like a long time ago now. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, Carry on having a nose around while that's doing that. Bolt green name. That's quite a nice feature. So what have we got now? So there we go. LibreOffice 7.2. Let's see what version is actually in running.
seven two one two. That's not bad. Okay. Um, package add. Let's see if that's here, shall we? No. Okay. Um. Chromium, are you there? You're there. Okay, that's good. I have Firefox. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, who's this handsome fella? Must be me. <laughs> As I say, this is uh, running in a um, a virtual host. Yeah, that's quite choppy. That's probably that's probably why though. So that's probably gonna take a while. I can already hear you saying why you logged in as root. Um, ordinarily I wouldn't ordinarily I'd log in as myself uh, but this is a virtual machine and I don't care I like this theme Okay, so where was we? We was looking at OpenBSD, that's right. Um, so we just installed uh, LibreOffice. We checked that out. We've got Firefox and Thunderbird installed, albeit playback on YouTube is quite choppy. But again, as I said, this is probably due to it being in a virtual machine. Probably get the usual, please accept our EULA. Or not, must have remembered it from last time, that's great. So that's good. This guy likes his own face, doesn't he? <laughs> Um, okay. So what else have we got? We can probably install GIMP and Audacity, I suppose. We could try those. Welcome back to Bailey, by the way. We've had a bit of a funny night here. As you may have heard me notice, may have heard me say in the, in the past, uh, my daughter is disabled and likes to keep really strange sleeping patterns. And uh, she woke up at about half past three last night. And so, yeah, I've been awake since then. He was still asleep. He only just woke up when the little one went to school. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to him. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Bailey. 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 Oi. He's ignoring me. He's not happy with me. He didn't want to come down. I think he wanted to stay upstairs. Um, can't say I blame him. I wish I was still in bed. And I'll be going there soon. Sleep the day away. My beautiful wife is waiting for me up there. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So while we're waiting for that, what else can we do on here? Assuming this is tabular, yeah. So do you know what would be interesting to do one day? And that would be to set up a mail server on OpenBSD and, and try and figure out how it, it stacks up against the FreeBSD one that I did. Um, that would be quite interesting to do, I think. Let's see what we got in, uh, in here. Um, so I, when I was setting this up, I went ahead and installed a, a few of my 
personal choice software. So you saw Firefox and you saw Thunderbird there. I also installed Pico, my text editor of choice. And I set up the RC. I set up the RC conf. Actually, that's not true. I didn't. I set up the RC local. So there it is just running slim. And the RC conf local, which will have the, the bits in it for running X. So that's all set. Okay, so GIMP is now installed. Let's check that out. It's a very nice splash screen. What about screen recorder? We'll do for now. Um, yeah, it's it's quite nice. It. it I'm quite impressed that it actually runs um, on my Mac Mini, whereas FreeBSD doesn't, or at least X doesn't. So let's have a look at the uh, themes we've got. Okay. Just that one and dark theme. That's quite nice. I do like a dark theme. And then your your basic fonts. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll do for now. Um I don't think this is something that I could run on a permanent basis. Um again. You know, it, it's lacking Adobe for me, but it's quite nice. It seems to, to run all right, uh, given that it's in a VM. If it was uh, on metal, I, I suspect it would be a, a different kettle of fish, but ah, fish, terminal. Um, but there we go, guys. Uh, that That's uh, OpenBSD. I hope you find uh, this this video useful. As always, if you find this video useful, click the like button, give it a thumbs up. Doesn't cost anything. Um, subscribe to the channel and you'll get notifications of, of coming upcoming videos if you click the bell icon. Um, and uh, again, thank you. You guys, these videos wouldn't be possible without your support. So I, I really do appreciate it. Please keep coming back and liking, subscribing and sharing as well. Please do that. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.